Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. This is something that as a football fan I have been wanting to try for a long time. It's pie time. This is the famous Kilmarnock pie. Uh, it's from Browning's The Bakers, established 1945. So, you may know it as the Kelly Pie. Uh, from what I've read on Wikipedia, it used to be called the Kelly Pie, but because of some sort of um, trademark dispute between Kilmarnock, the football club, and this company, they had to change it to the famous Kilmarnock Pie, because the club gets called Kelly a lot. So yeah, if you're a Scottish football fan, you probably know what this is already, but let me clue in the uninitiated. So, Kilmarnock Football Club is a football team that plays at Rugby Park in Kilmarnock in Scotland. Uh, currently, they are quite near the bottom of the Scottish Premiership. Um, probably might be, I don't know how they'll be doing by the time this video actually goes out, but as I record it, they're like 11th, I think. So, they're not a very good team, at least not now, though they have had some success in the not-so-distant past. And uh, basically they're well known in Scotland and in fact probably in the UK for having the best pie. So most, most if not all Scottish football grounds have a pie, sometimes more than one pie. And uh, Kilmarnock's famous uh, steak pie has won some awards, it won, won best pie like two years in a row. And it's, uh, it's sort of different because it's a steak pie rather than a scotch pie, which is what you tend to get at football grounds. Although they're a bit more diverse now, football stadiums. They tend to have different options. When I go to football, I don't really get a pie. Um, I do like a scotch pie, but I'm a, I'm a Celtic fan. And when you go to Celtic Park, it's not worth eating the food because the food is rubbish. It is, Celtic Park has terrible food. I'm not... Not gonna lie, you know they're good at lots of things, but making pies, no, no, terrible pies. So I don't tend to have the pies. If I do ever eat anything at Celtic Park, I just have chips. Um, so it's very hard to mess them up, and uh, they do, still do sometimes. Uh, so I don't normally have a pie, but I've always wanted to try one of these because it's famous, right? And people go on about it like it's the next best thing. Uh, so yeah, but I've never been to Kilmarnock, so I've never been to Rugby Park, so I've never had the chance to have their pie. But they do them in shops, so I figured I would get one. Um, so this was a pound fifty from Morrison's, and uh, I believe if you were to buy it from the stadium, you're probably talking at least three pounds. But I don't know exactly what they charge over there. I know in Celtic Park the prices have gone up quite a bit. It's almost I think it's almost four quid for a pie now, which is a joke. But there you go. Uh, so this is winner of best savoury product, best steak pie in Scotland. Say hi to a Kilmarnock pie, product of Ayrshire. So let's have a wee look, see if there's anything else to sort of read on here. It's manufactured in Kilmarnock by Browning's The Bakers, Bonnington Industrial Estate, Kilmarnock. Uh, Kilmarnockpie.com So yeah, they're, um, they've been doing the pies for the football club since 2003, I want to say. It's uh, the early 2000s. And... Um, yeah, they've won lots of awards since. So there's your list of ingredients. It's not a huge list. It's a steak pie, so it'll be consisting of gravy, steak, and pastry. Uh, allergen advice, yes, yeah, whatever. Wheat, obviously, milk, soya. Uh, so this, you put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 180 degrees. That's how you cook this bad boy. So let's go for nutritional info. Sadly, they do give us per 100 grams rather than per pie which is daft, because you're not eating 100 grams of a pie, you're eating a pie. And I don't think it says on here how much, the, how, much how heavy it actually is. It doesn't. So it doesn't say on here how much the pie actually weighs, so I have no idea, so you're just going to have to try and figure it out from this. Uh, so per 100 grams, 267 calories, 13.3 grams of fat, of which 4.5 grams of saturates, carbs, 25.1 grams, 1.2 grams of sugar, 11.9 grams of protein, and 1.6 grams of salt. I mean, that all sounds reasonably high to me. Based on the size of the pie and the weight of it, it's probably about 200, 200 grams, but can't be sure 100% not without weighing it, and I'm not going to go and do that. So there it is. That's what your, your pie looks like. Looks like a scotch pie. Um, that's what your scotch pies look like with a the very round thing and a lid on the top, but of course it is filled with steak. I can actually take the lid off and show you it. There you go. Very steamy. 
Looks to be a lot packed in there. All right, I'm going to um, cut a piece out of it so that we can uh, have a wee look at it. And so I've got a manageable bite. Got a wee knife and fork here. So I can lift up, it might be a bit, it's a bit hot, but I can lift up half a pie. Maybe, no, I can't, I can't, it's too, it's too, uh, it's too hot and also when I go to pick it up it's sort of falling apart. So I'll lift up the plate and I'll, I'll show you guys. So there's your pie, there's what it look, the insides look like. Got all your steak in there, seems to be pretty well packed so can't complain at that. For a pound fifty a pie, seems alright, as long as it tastes nice. Right, let's get a bit on our fork here, a wee, a wee fork fee. That pastry really falls apart. So there we go. We've got a wee fork full of our famous Kilmarnock pie. So there it is. The famous Kilmarnock pie. Let's give it the old taste test. I need another wee bit. I need another wee bit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, there's something about a steak pie that makes me want to stand up and yell FREEDOM! I'm not going to do that because I can't be bothered standing up but I will give you my rundown of how I feel this pie is. This pie has a lot going for it. Um, the pastry is soft, a bit flaky on the top, although it does fall apart maybe a little bit too much, so it's not quite firm enough, but the pastry is okay. The pastry's got quite a bit of sweetness to it, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah, it feels more sweet and savoury, which is a bit odd. Now the filling, the steak is cooked to perfection. Like it's actually, you know, there's no fat or gristle. Or anything like that in there, it seems to be decent cuts of meat. The steak is really, really good. Like, it just it falls apart. You can see it on the fork there, like, just... It's melting your mouth. So, texture-wise, that is beautiful. And the gravy, as far as the gravy goes... Don't know how convinced I am by the gravy, to be honest. Um, let me have another wee mouthful here just to be sure. The gravy's only okay. It's um, it's nice. It's got a bit of bit of meatiness to it. There's a slight hint of black pepper, but it, it's, it's too salty. It's very, very salty, and so I need to break out the iron brew. Another famous Scottish treat. Ah, uh, um, yeah, the gravy is very, very, very salty. And I don't want the salt to be the the main flavour of my steak pie, you know. I want the pastry to be buttery. This pastry is more it's more sweet than buttery. The the meat is tender and perfectly cooked, so the meat is great. I would give it full marks for the meat. But the meat, of course, is, is covered in the gravy, right? It's cooked in the gravy. So yeah. It's got a decent bit of flavour, a hint of black pepper and stuff like that, but it's very, very salty. 
which uh, really lets it down. Hmm. Okay, well, that was alright. I have had better steak pie than that. Like, yeah, loads of times. I've had I've had way better steak pies. Um, we go to a lot of food markets, and there's always there's always a butcher or or whatever there, and the the steak pies you get from them, yeah, they they tend to be a lot better than 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 this. Um, this is a bit. It's okay. It's nice enough steak pie for a pound fifty. I'm not going to complain. You know, it's 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 quite nice, but it's also just too much saltiness and too much sweetness in the in the pastry for me. So the fact that it's won um, best pie, like pie of the year or whatever, I don't know if that says more about the pie, how good the pie actually is, or just how bad pies in at football grounds actually are, because. Uh, most places you go, the pies you get in football grounds are terrible. Um, and this is, because it's steak, it's, it's better than a scotch pie. But it is just, it's only okay. It's, it's not the best pie ever. I guess maybe the fact that they manufacture them to put them in shops and stuff all over the place now. Maybe that brought the quality down a bit because they're mass producing them. Not like they used to. But, I don't know. I don't know. I've never tried, never tried them before, so I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, that's a middling steak pie at best. Well, that'll do for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the wee bell to get notifications. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know have you tried the Kelly pie? Um, do you like it? Are you a Kilmarnock fan? If so, why? And um, yeah, sorry, Kelly fans. Um, yeah, just uh, hope you guys all have yourselves a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.